let alpha and beta be two roots of the quadratic equation x square plus 2x plus 2 equals to 0 then the value of alpha power 15 plus beta power 15 is equals to okay he has given the quadratic equation x square plus 2x plus 2 equals to 0 and saying that this is having the two roots one root is as alpha and another root is as beta okay it is having the two roots then before that first of all we will try to find out the roots alpha and beta then how to find out the roots for this one so we can find with the help of the formula x is equals to minus b minus 2 plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 a c c is 2 by 2 a a is equals to 1 and we can write it as x is equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root minus 4 by 2 and x is equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 4 square root 4 into square root minus 1 we can write this is as 2i by 2 and if we take 2 as a common then we obtain the root size minus 1 plus or minus i okay minus 1 plus or minus i then assume that it is having the two values x is obtaining it as a 2 one is let consider one is alpha equals to minus 1 plus i and beta equals to minus 1 minus i and we can write as sum of the roots as alpha plus beta equals to minus 2 okay uh, then right okay we are obtaining the two roots alpha and beta but here what he is asking us to find alpha power 15 plus beta power 15 okay he is asking us to find alpha power 15 plus beta power 15 okay right can we write this is as alpha square power 7 into alpha plus beta square power 7 into beta okay beta square power 7 into beta so now try to find out alpha square and beta square then what we obtain the alpha square okay alpha square equals to minus 1 plus i whole square okay alpha square equals to we can write as minus 1 plus i whole square and what we obtain alpha square equals to a square plus b square b square means i square is minus 1 minus 2 a b then we can write as minus 2 i then simply we can write it as alpha square equals to minus 2 i okay alpha square equals to minus 2 i so this is alpha square then try to find out the beta square so beta square equals to minus 1 minus i whole square so if we take minus i as a common they can write this is as 1 plus i okay 1 plus i whole square then simply it is nothing but 1 plus i whole square then now we can write this as a square plus b square i square is minus 1 plus 2 a b then it is 2 i then finally we can write it as b star square equals to 2 i okay alpha square equals to minus 2 i beta square equals to plus 2 i okay right now substitute over here alpha square is nothing but minus 2i all power 7 into alpha plus beta is nothing but 2i all power 7 into beta okay right. then what we obtain over here we obtain over here it is as so minus 2 power 7 that means it is a minus 1 power 7 is minus itself then it is 2 power 7 into i power 7 into alpha plus and which is equals to we can write as 2 power 7 into i power 7 into beta okay right so here what we are getting over here it is so can we write it as 2 power 7 into i power 7 as a common okay 2 power 7 into i power 7 as a common then we can write this is as beta minus alpha 
okay beta minus alpha and what we can find it as beta minus alpha let's try to find out minus 1 minus i and minus alpha that means it is nothing but minus of minus it is plus 1 minus i okay plus 1 minus i beta minus alpha we obtain this is as minus 2i okay beta minus alpha we obtain it is as minus 2i okay right now we need to substitute this is as minus 2i before that what is i power 7 so in the iota powers from the complex numbers we can write this is as i power 4 into i cube i power 4 is nothing but 1 into i cube is equals to i square into i whereas i square equals to minus 1 then we can write it as simply i power 7 equals to minus i okay now replace over here 2 power 7 means 128 into minus i okay into minus 2i okay minus 2i so 128 into 2 which is equals to 256 minus into minus plus i into i i square but we know that i square equals to minus 1 now if we replace i square equals to minus 1 we obtain the result as minus 256 okay minus 256 is our required solution okay so whenever we have some roots is given and asking us to find the powers of the root we always tries to find out the alpha and beta after finding the alpha and beta try to find out alpha square and beta square if any required if the higher powers have given then we can find out alpha cube beta cube then we need to try to simplify here the alpha power 15 and beta power 15 can be written as alpha powers alpha square power 7 into alpha beta square power 7 into beta then try to simplify then we will get the required answer and what is our answer minus 256 then option c is the correct one minus 256 is our required solution